Hello Programming 12! So hopefully in the last uh, videos you were able to figure out how to put those things together. Here's sort of the end, and we'll just call this a checkpoint uh, where you have your spaceship, you know it flies, it's gonna wrap around to the other side, no matter what edge you go across you're gonna like, you know, flip to their side. Uh, and then the acceleration and deceleration is a little more chill. You know, not quite so rapid. And also the speed limit, uh, making it so it can't go faster than a certain number uh, would be ideal to get all those things going. Well, you can you can set these to whatever you want, but just as long as you can't go like ridiculously fast, um, that that would be a, be a little silly. So there you go. Uh, that's going to be your checkpoint. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so when we press the space bar, pew, 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 we can start, you know, start shooting bullets. Um, this is going to require us to do something very different than we've done with object-oriented programming before. And that is we need to be able to dynamically create objects while the project is running. So in the past, all of our objects have been inside an array and they were all made and set up and then they just act. And you loop through the array and make them all kind of do their actions. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to use an array list. It's a different data structure, and then we're going to have to see how that works. Uh, but in our first video, we'll just make the bullet class. In our set next video after that, we will look and see how we can make an array list of bullets that can grow and shrink as we add bullets and remove bullets. And last but not least, um, we will um, yeah, just make sure everything is synced up, and so when we press space, pew pew, we see it all uh, come together in the end. Okay, so we'll start off by just making our bullet class. So I'm going to be making a new tab. Uh, it's going to be called bullet, and this is going to be class bullet. And for our bullet, it's going to have some striking similarities to spaceship, and actually that's going to make for an interesting topic later on when we talk about how to manage that. But for right now, let's just put it together as we might expect. So a bullet is just gonna be a little you know, dot that's gonna be flying across the screen. So it's gonna have a location. So we'll use P vector location. Uh, it's gonna have a velocity as well. Uh, sorry, velocity. And um, yeah, that's pretty good there, I guess, uh, for now. Well, just to get the bullet to show up, that'll be good. I am anticipating we'll need to have something like a lives kind of thing uh, so that it can die later on. Like, is it alive or is it like a dead bullet? You know, like, can we like shut it down? Honestly, the spaceship probably should have that as well, uh, but I haven't quite set that up. So let's come back to that. Let's come back to that. Let's not worry about it right now. Okay, so now I'd like to go ahead and make, hmm, let's go ahead and make our constructor. And it'll be really nice for bullets uh, when they are born, if they were starting at the spaceship, you know, like I want the bullet to like be born <laughs> right there where the spaceship is. So I will uh, set the location uh, when we create a bullet to be a new P vector. And let's just look at the player, like where the player ship is. So we'll say uh, player one. This is going to be a little weird. We want to say this location. Um, so I can say dot location dot x. That's a little bit ugly. So that's fine. Um, <laughs> player and then the y would be player one dot location dot y. Uh, if that looks a little bit ugly, uh, we could also make um, a function inside of the player of inside of the spaceship just to return the x coordinate. That might also be a, a solution. But, um, you know, if you're okay with it, like, we'll just go along with this. But if, if that looks kind of ugly to you, then please let me know. We can work on a, a separate function. It's probably good enough for now. Now, the velocity. Now, that's interesting. Our velocity, when the bullet comes out of the spaceship, it should probably be going in the direction of the spaceships. Like, where, like where, where's the spaceship pointing? So what we can do is we can say velocity. We're going to make it a copy of the spaceship's direction vector. So we can say player one dot direction dot copy. So basically the bullet's velocity is gonna be a copy of the spaceship's direction. The one, that, that'll give us the right um, like angle that we're pointing at, but not the right magnitude. Because if you recall, the direction vector is very, is very small. 
So then we can just set the magnitude, um, velocity.setMag, and set it to whatever number we think is appropriate, maybe like 10 or something like that. Um, we might also want to, like, you know, as the spaceship is moving, like, you know, if, if the spaceship is moving and they fire the bullet, the spaceship's velocity should probably also be added on to the bullet's velocity. But let's let's see that in a little bit of time. Let's not do this right now. Um, I'd like to sort of show you what it looks like as it is, and then we will um, we will get there. Uh, so we'll come back to talk about that when we put everything together at the end. So there we go. That's the story. And then what does this look like? So uh, when we go to do void show, a bullet is simply going to be a dot, you know, like a circle or something. Um, let's make it um, fill black. Um, uh, stroke white, maybe stroke weight um, two or something, and then just make a small circle. Circle, I don't know. Uh, it'll be at its location dot x and location dot y. I'm not sure how big to make it, so I'm just gonna guess like five. Um, like we can always adjust these numbers. It's not it's not super important. We could use translate here. Um, that would be fine. Um, you don't. There's not a lot of value you get out of the translate because it's just a circle. But if you want to make a more complex bullet that had different parts, uh, or maybe it was like changing in some way, like growing and shrinking, or had some more interesting design, then translate would be fantastic here. But since it's just a circle, I hesitate to make it more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, so now we can make it act. So I'll make a void act. Wow, so hard to type. <laughs> so what does a bullet do? Well, it really just moves, you know, it just moves through space. And that looks like this, location.add velocity. Um, and of course, a bullet, you know, since we're going to call the act from the bullet, the bullet will use its location and velocity, so it won't tangle it up with a spaceship's location and velocity or other bullets' locations and velocities. Like each bullet will know their own information. Okay, so that's a bullet. That's the class. I think that's all we really need. So I th we'll stop there. Uh, we'll have some additional things when we put it all together. But now what I'd like to do in the next video is show us how to uh, manage many bullets uh, from zero bullets to you know dozens of bullets uh, in the in the sky uh, and make them be able to like be added while the game is running and also removed as well. That's going to be really good. Okay, so see you in the next video.